now more than ever, the problem that we face with solving the climate crisis and achieving a just, equitable, economic energy transition calls for all hands on deck. Energy production definitely needs improvement. I think that it's undeniable that we need to move towards new sources of baseload power, but it's not the only aspect of the energy ecosystem that needs upgrading. The thing about hydrogen that's really unique is when you use it or you actually combust it, if you will, the end product is water. So it's substantially decarbonized. The overwhelming majority of hydrogen is produced using methane. And so it produces 10 kilograms of CO2 for every kilogram of hydrogen. So if we can change the equation and use green energy to produce green hydrogen, then you've got this fuel that its only emission is water when you use it. Ertigy is essentially building, designing a green hydrogen electrolyzer for the production of green hydrogen. And all of that's to help decarbonize substantially uh, heavy industry and things of that nature. Our number one target is to couple with wind and solar. Uh, wind, solar, and storage taken together give you the capability to do 24 seven operations with all green input power. Solar and wind are inherently intermittent power sources. So you want to design a product that couples with them and is uh, designed to optimize both productivity and efficiency. And you do that by having a wide dynamic range of, of output. When the sun is shining or the wind is blowing, you want to be able to have a, a volume driven capability to match. We've designed the product itself to be highly capable of connecting to intermittent power. As it allows you to turn up the volume of production or turn down the volume of consumption of energy. And it gives you kind of that sliding scale of, of use. So if you think about the energy transition and what's required, scale is going to reign supreme. Like the scale of electrolysis needed to make a transition is measured in hundreds and hundreds of gigawatts. So we need to start solving the problem of scale as a first principle. And Vertigy's done that by using very large electrochemical cells. So very large areas, which then give you a, a very significant output per cell. And then you can scale that up much more simply than if you do other approaches that have historically been tried. I think there's a very strong capability to substitute green hydrogen for carbon-based fuels as, a, as time goes on. And people will start having the opportunity to buy green steel, green materials, green aluminum, all because green hydrogen is an enabler that'll start catalyzing that. It's one of those things where, you know, when I say green hydrogen, you say, I've never heard of that before. And then tomorrow you're not gonna be able to not see it. It's gonna be everywhere. The next big opportunity for us to decarbonize at scale is decarbonizing our buildings. Homeowners here in the US contribute to over 42% of carbon emissions owing to the decisions they make in the household every single day how you cook your food, how you heat your space, and how you heat your water, and now increasingly what cars we drive. There's an opportunity for us to be part of the decarbonization movement at large, and it starts with our individual choices. At SPAN, our mission is to enable electrification for all. Our vision over the course of the next decade is to enable 10 million homes to make that transition towards being electric. At its heart, the SPAN is a home electrical panel that provides not just safety, but acts as the power router for the home. It allows the homeowner to monitor every appliance and every circuit in a home and control every device in the home. By enabling that, we're able to allow homeowners to adopt solar, home batteries, electric vehicles, and electric appliances that can supplant their traditional gas-powered appliances. And our panel allows you to make that choice without having to spend on a tremendous amount of electrical service upgrades or make the compromise on functionality. There's a very direct and measurable avoided cost benefit for homeowners that have to upgrade their service in order to electrify. Our panel allows every homeowner in the US 
to take that step towards electrification and decarbonization without having to worry about the cost of upgrading their panel. Access to energy is perhaps the most important and consistent problem for us to solve as civilization. Right. The infrastructure technologies that we're building at SPAN allows us to improve everyday lives of human beings without having to contribute to climate change. So it's absolutely the best time to be innovating in this space. CDK Ventures invests in tech startups, specifically deep tech startups, because we really believe that the innovations that come from founders, entrepreneurs who are developing new to the world hardware, oftentimes with some sort of scientific innovation, those are the technologies that are really going to move the needle for our energy transition and for digital transformation uh, globally. Climate change is not only the single largest problem that we have to face with so many different implications, it's also one of the largest opportunities. When you look out at the world and you see so many ways that it should be different, that there's not also an opportunity in enabling those differences and the solutions to those problems to come to light. That fundamentally drives us, and I think that it's a privilege to actually work with founders who are visionary enough to tackle a problem as big as the climate problem and the energy transition. TDK Ventures brings a lot of operational knowledge and excellence to our partnership. They're not just a source of capital for us to build our business, but they've been exceptional partners in thinking about uh, fundamental challenges in terms of growth, in terms of manufacturing, and in terms of commercialization. They were our lead investor. And so that vote of confidence and the way they comport themselves, they've got such a stellar reputation among the corporate venturing world that it opens every door. TDK has a, a, an expression they call TDK goodness. And I've seen that in every quarter of how we interact with them. It's not like an investor, it's more like once they become your partner, you're in. You're part of the overall family and they really do back up the TDK goodness with uh, actions. There's nothing more important than that, to be able to go out and surf in an ocean that's clean, to be able to go and breathe air that's not polluted, to go and ski on mountains that still have snow. Feeling like I'm part of a team that is able to support people who are actually building the technology that will enable that future is indescribable.